well are you a duck or an eagle this motivational or inspirational story some of you may have already read or heard during motivational lectures which you may have attended in the past but i still thought of sharing this in my my own words for those who may not have had the occasion of knowing this particular inspirational and motivational story havi mcke in new york times best selling books author and a well known columnist covering career and 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 inspirational advice narrates a remarkable story about a cab driver about a taxi driver who decided to soar or fly high like an eagle ordinarily our personal encounters and experiences with taxis or cabs are not very pleasant in terms of hygiene cleanliness professionalism politeness conduct as a whole and and more getting back to harvey's harvey's exceptional narration he was waiting in line for a ride at the airport when a cab pulled up the first thing harvey noticed was that the taxi was polished to 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 a bright shine smartly dressed in a white shirt black tie and freshly ironed black trou- trousers the cab driver jumped out and rounded the car to open the back passenger door for harvey showing his mannerism and good conduct he handed him a laminated card the driver handed harvey a laminated card which said i am wally your driver while i am l- loading your bags in in the trunk i would like you to read my mission statement harvey was quite surprised anybody would be and perhaps he was taken aback he read the card which said wally's mission statement to get my customers to their destination in the quickest safest and cheapest way possible in a friendly environment that was his mission statement which he wanted the harvey to read as a passenger this completely blew harvey away completely blew him away especially when he noticed that the inside of the cab literally matched the outside which which was immaculately clean both you know the exterior and the interior of the cab as he glided behind the wheel wally the the driver or the chauffeur said would you like a cup of coffee sir i have a thermos i have a thermos of regular coffee and one of decaf also decaffeinated coffee as well Harvey with a smile said no thanks i prefer soft drinks Wally smiled back and said no problem sir i have a cooler i have a cooler up front with regular as well as diet coke water and orange juice nearly stammering Harvey said i'll take a diet coke and handing him the drink wally said if you would like something to read i have the wall street uh, wall street journal time sports illustrated and usa today so as they were dragging away wally handed another laminated card to harvey these are the stations i get the radio stations i get and the kind of music they play i mean if you'd like to listen to the radio just let me know 
which station would you prefer? Said uh, Wally, the driver, the cab driver. And to top it all, Wally, the driver, told Harvey that he had the air conditioning on and asked if the temperature was comfortable enough for, for Harvey. Next, the cab driver went on to inform Harvey of the best possible route to his destination at, at that time of the day. He also offered to engage in a conversation with Harvey, very thoughtful of him. Uh, and, 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 and he wanted to have a conversation to tell him about the interesting sites, uh, which if at all Harvey was interested in, in visiting. And if he was not interested in chatting with the driver, he, he said that, you know, he, he would leave uh, Harvey with his thoughts. Harvey was nothing but utterly astounded and surprised and amazed. And he asked the driver, tell me, Wally, have you always served your customers like this? Wally smiled into the into the rear view mirror no not always in fact it's only been in the last two years said the driver it's only been in the last two years said wally during my first five years driving i spent most of my time complaining like all the rest of the cabbies do then i heard the personal growth guru wine dyer wine dyer on the radio one day he heard wine dyer on the radio one day he had just written a book called you will see it when you believe it you will see it when you believe it mr dyer said that if you get up in the morning expecting to have a bad day you will have a bad day you will rarely disappoint yourself with the thought what you have had. Bad day? You will get a bad day. Stop, stop complaining. Differentiate yourself from your competition. Don't be a duck. Don't be a duck. Be an eagle. Be an eagle. Ducks quack and complain, whereas eagles soar above the crowd. That hit me said Wally. That hit me right between the eyes, said Wally. Mr. Dyer was really talking about me, I thought. I was always quacking like a duck and complaining. So I, I decided to, to change my attitude and become an eagle, become an eagle. I, I, I looked around at the other cabs and their drivers, the cabs were dirty, the, the, the drivers were impolite, unfriendly, and, and the customers were by and large unhappy. So I decided to make some changes. I put in a few at a time. When my, when my customers responded well, I did more. So Wally did, took a baby step and then he took a giant step in a way. I take it that has paid off well for you, Harvey uh, said. It sure has, Wally replied. My first year as an eagle, I doubled my income from the previous year, said Wally. And this year, perhaps I will or probably, you know, quadruple it, my income. You are lucky to get me today, sir. I don't sit at cab stands anymore. My customers call me for appointment on my cell phone, said Wally, or leave a message on my answering machine. That's, that's what he said. He was he's much in demand. If I cannot pick up pick the calls myself, I get a... Uh, if I cannot honor... Uh, my commitments to the customers, then I arrange for some other reliable cabbie. 
Polly was incredible. You know, he literally offered or he was offering a limousine service out of a regular taxi or cab. It doesn't matter if you work in an office or in the field as, as a salesperson or, or after sales support or a teacher or a civil servant or a lawyer or a politician or a businessman or a bank or any other executive or, or employee or, 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 or any professional for that matter or a taxi driver or a courier or food delivery agent. Whatever work you do, what matters is what choice you make. Whether you make a choice to be a duck, always complaining, or you want to, you make a choice to be an eagle. Whether you are ready to take responsibility for your actions uh, and, and circumstances which you are in, or you don't want to take responsibility and accountability for your actions. Whether, whether you're willing to change your approach an attitude uh, or not, you know, small changes in life bring about big advancements. As they say, whatever goes around comes around. The theory of karma does work in practical terms. I personally feel, you know, it's not simply a theory. You, you can actually put it into practice, the theory of karma. Wally transformed himself from being a quacking uh, duck to a high-flying eagle, as the story tells you. We, we can get inspiration from completely unexpected and unassuming quarters. You know, the way we got this story from a taxi driver. So, you know, always keep your eyes and ear, ears of your mind open. You, you, you don't know who will teach you what in life, uh, which will which will eventually become a game changer for you. Yes, a game changer for you. Thank you. Goodbye. And good luck.